Good morning everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Taipei. Uh, we woke up in the morning, we went to breakfast at the hotel, and now we are out. We are on our way to the Confucius Temple as well as Bao An Temple this morning. We're heading to Ximen Metro Station, and from there we're going to take the metro. We just jumped off the metro at Yuanshan Station. And let's just go check out this map to see which exit to take. We are here. Exit song. And we're going to the Confucius Temple. Before I forget, I just wanted to quickly take this opportunity to tell you that when I got home last night after eating that, what I thought was that surprise stinky tofu, it indeed was stinky tofu. Uh, but the reason I didn't, I wasn't expecting it to be stinky tofu is because a couple years ago when I was in China, I had stinky tofu and it was black in color. Uh, so this was just normal kind of golden brown. Uh, but now the more I think about it, it definitely did have a flavor that sort of tasted like stale water that had been sitting around for way too long. But I really enjoyed it. And I know for sure I'm gonna be eating more stinky tofu here when I'm in Taiwan. But just wanted to confirm that. And if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, I will link it here, but also, yeah, go check out that video as well. Now onward to the Confucius Temple. Unfortunately, we were planning to go to the Confucius Temple, but it says that it's closed on Monday, and today just happens to be Monday, so that is our bad luck or my fault for not researching well enough. Uh, but anyways, the Bao An Temple, which is just across the street, is open. I haven't been inside yet, I'm about to go inside, but it's beautiful from the outside. Uh, the face of the temple is, is extremely well preserved, uh, very artistic and very detailed and decorated. And also, I'm not sure if you can see the road right in front of the temple, but it is cobblestone, which gives it a nice feel as well. And now I'm gonna go check it out inside. Yesterday I visited the Longshan Temple that really has an energetic buzz to it. Uh, but right now here at the Bao An Temple, it really has a complete uh, complete different calm and peacefulness to it uh, and the artistry here is just truly remarkable uh, the paintings if you look up the paintings the sculptures the reliefs are impressive it's a uh, Monday in Taipei so a lot of the museums and many of the attractions are closed today so I guess we're sort of out of a plan we don't have that much to do today so we're gonna go for lunch now. It took us about 20 minutes to walk from the temple, uh, but that is the restaurant right in front of us. I noticed the yellow banner sign, and that's where we're heading to eat right now. I think this restaurant is kind of uh, buffet cafeteria style, so we just got in line, and there's a long line right now. Uh, but then all the food is at the front there, and I guess we're just going to choose what we want to eat. Oh, this is excellent. There are some huge takeaway orders. Just check out all those orders on the table there. We have approached the front of the line, ready to grab my red tray. The more I stand in this line, the more excited I'm getting. And this atmosphere here is just... Amazing, it's it's a classic. Um, I gotta grab that chicken. Boiled chicken with scallion oil. 
that looks like uh, scrambled eggs with tomatoes. Cheers. Mm. Oh man, you gotta pace yourself because you might fill up your entire tray before you get to the end of the buffet here. Just look at all those takeaway boxes they are stacking up there. That's incredible. Oh man, I love this place. When we got in the line, it was stretching to the door. Now it's stretching out of the restaurant and onto the sidewalk outside. Uh, but anyway, you just get in line and then you wait to get your turn to the front of the line. And just like many uh, Chinese style kind of takeaway restaurants, they have all the dishes prepared in the front. Um, and you can just kind of pick and choose whichever dishes you like. This is boiled chicken uh, with scallion oil and ginger over here. Uh, this one is a scrambled egg with tomato and some kind of red oily sauce. This one I'm not sure exactly what type of fish it is. It almost looks like salmon uh, because of that pinkish color but it looks like it's just pan fried. And then finally I got a just a bowl of vegetables. And another thing that's very famous to get here is this clam, clam soup. Oh and there's some ginger in there and it looks very uh, just kind of like a herbal soup almost break open my chopsticks and I got a rice bowl of rice waiting to try the scrambled eggs with the tomato oh. this looks like a bite to shovel mm. oh that's comforting that tastes exactly how it looks um, like thick scrambled eggs and then really kind of sweet um, yeah, very, actually very sweet tomatoes, not really tart. Mm. Salmon time. I might need to use my finger to break off. Yeah, that's salmon. That's salmon. I couldn't tell at the front there because it was, um, okay. It's a little bit on the dry side, but at the same time, it's still very good. I'll take a quick break from the rice and try that clam soup. Here, let me just taste that broth. Mm. Oh, that's plain, but and it's not salty, but you can really taste the ginger in there. Well, oh, that's like a it's like a boiled ginger broth, and maybe it, maybe it's a chicken broth. Oh, I like that. It's plain, but very gingery and good. Okay, let me grab a clam. Oh, and all that ginger on there. You gotta show that. Yeah, ginger is just a wonderful thing. And then the final dish is the boiled chicken. And I'm not a huge fan of the boiled chicken skin, so I might just peel the good thing about when you eat the boiled chicken is that you can just peel it right off and you got all that that delicious juicy chicken meat under there. I'll take some of the scallions and that ginger. Oh, let me make all that bone. The chicken has a little bit of a a rubberiness, but at the same, but that's from the being boiled and then plunged into cold water, I think. Um, and then that that sauce is very salty. You can really taste uh, a little bit of ginger, and you can really taste the green onion flavor in there as well. Just finished with lunch. I'm nice and full. Uh, the food, not the best quality because it's kind of mass produced, but pretty good and nice and filling, the price is not bad, and I like how you can choose such a variety of different food to eat. But since it's Monday, uh, and not that much is open that I wanted to check out, I'm gonna head back to our hotel now and get some work done. And then later tonight we're gonna go to a night market, which I'm gonna make into a full separate video, so I probably won't show that on the vlog right now. I'm gonna end the vlog for today here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And I will see you on tomorrow's vlog.